Hello everyone, this is Hunter at Vapor Honing Technologies and today we're going to be discussing if you should hydroblast before dry soda blasting. The short answer is yes if there is a lot of oil. What can happen with a dry blast process is that soda will clump since there's no water to help wash away those oils, greases, or what have you on the part. And it will clump all of the abrasive and kind of make it ineffective and just gunk up your machine. So it is necessary in that regard. We have a gear here that we have soda blasted. Obviously you can see the dry soda blast was pretty effective, but let's say you have something like a piston. So a piston is going to have more oil than normal parts you know that may have a little bit of oil on them so with pistons you may want to hydroblast that first and then put it in your dry blasting cabinet just so you don't gunk it up make your machine you know filthy and gunk up your abrasive and stuff like that there is some push pull between the wet and the dry blast so the wet blast you're going to be able to put a greasy oily part directly in the machine if you have soda in the machine because you have water there to help wash those contaminants away now in a dry blast cabinet it does have a little bit more power when blasting with soda so that's what makes that process more effective in a dry blast cabinet if you guys have any questions at all please give us a call we're happy to help with all of your blasting needs 828-220-5012